We're not. We're not trying to make you feel bad at see, all. See, here's here's the thing. Whoever is not a child of God is an enemy of God I'm an and a child of, of disobedience. So I already take that into factor. I already take into factor whoever does not love God and love His law, not seeing it as a moral code. Well, the thing is, as it's God, God, but as it as God, but as it, but if it is God's law, why is God violating His own law? All right, let's y'all see. Let's y'all see. No, see I have a question. The thing that's molded. Say to there the maker, is no because God. so Why because make because if he says, says thou shalt not kill as his own law he is violating his own law if he kills uh, all right Chelsea no, Chelsea has something to say I have a question hey, so this book hey, right hi. it dictates the, the, the yes well whatever yeah, this fictitious book Jesse, anyway Jesse it, it dictates that Looks all bad. of us wouldn't believe Jesus or whatever if he actually showed up and started performing miracles now how is this true this this book was written by human humans on earth, making it fiction, and I, I do admit that these people were amazing, fictitious writers, but it doesn't dictate like how we should be. We have our own individual may also, minds. May I also draw on it? May I also draw on another instance from history, if can, I may? Can I just... Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, for you. Yeah, before you do, yeah, go ahead, yeah. and then I'll bring in the last bit I want. Well, these guys... These men actually weren't great fictitious writers. They were humble and they were lowly. They were fishermen. They were weak men. God constantly uses the weak things of this world to bring to foolishness the wise things. God sees our wisdom as complete stupidity. Why? Because he created us and he already knows all the Well, then why did he give us free will? If it says, thou shall not kill, why did he give free will and allow everybody what? and give everybody the how, how could How could God he, he show don't even his know mercy? Me, man. How could God show his love? How could God show his patience? How could God show his kindness? How could God show his how grace? About, I got a question how? for you. No, I, got how? A question. I, I, got question. I got a question for you. You say, how can he? I say, how does he? How does he? Oh, nice one. Show me how you have proof that he does Show me how you have proof that he does And he already does. He already has. I see no proof that anyone named Jesus. Sir, I don't want to get you in the film if you don't want to be. So I'm asking you to please step back. Please and thank you if you don't want to be in the film. There are two points I want to bring up. Number one, are you familiar with the... I just don't want you to be in the film if you don't want to. Because we don't have any editing software. So if you don't want to be in the film. The British pilots essentially were dropping off radios and other stuff like that. As part of the... During the time the Japanese were trying to invade China and India. The British were trying to fight against them, you know, to a certain extent as well. Now, during this time, the natives of the Polynesian Islands actually formed things like radio towers, etc., because they actually believed the British pilots to be gods because their technology was so far advanced compared to ours. So my question is, um, uh, why would we not necessarily believe in Jesus performing miracles if compared, if, 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 if what he's doing is so far advanced compared to where we are? I mean, if, if, if primitive humans could consider us, you know, uh, and I mean technological, you know, 1940s, you know, Westerners to be considered gods, why would it not be that of being much, much more advanced, say, you know, say for why? example Jesus or what have you, Christy. if he came down, why would we not uh, at the very least true? believe that there was a source of miracles happening, even if we didn't, yeah, you know, uh, you know, know regardless of not being the Bible? Yeah, what are you talking yeah, about? Well, the the about second, the know, second thing Christy, that I have a question of, and this is a simple question, is, um, with regard to people such as those who have disabilities, namely autism, namely, uh, namely autism, uh, 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 neurological disorders, uh, people who are amputees, or people who, uh, uh, you know, or, uh, or some, in some cases, the worst case, uh, uh, in the worst cases, uh, those who have Down syndrome, uh, how does God show His love to them? And more specifically, what I'm concerned about is, um, are these, uh, are these like the sins of the Father being passed down to the next generation? A, B, for those who are too, uh, for those who are too uh, in vegetative state, for example, those who are born with Down syndrome and have absolutely no higher cognitive capability. They have no way by which they can know Jesus, so are they automatically damned. And partly three, um, why are people who have like, you know, uh, like, you know, genetic disorders like sickle cell anemia and stuff like that not cured by God when medicine cannot ha uh, cannot help them, especially if they're going to die so quickly? Is this a, is this the curse of sin being placed on, as you would point out from uh, from God? Or, or, is this, or is this another way that, by, that God would show his love, such as healing the leper? And the reason I ask is because of the fact that in the one particular case where Jesus did heal the leper, he was showing you know, your faith has saved you, but he hasn't done, uh, you know, but, but there hasn't been a reported case of, you know, of miraculous healing of things like sickle cell anemia, Asperger's, Down syndrome, or stuff like that for nearly over 2,000 years. So my question is, why, uh, so the question is, 
if God is so loving and if God is uh, is doing this, why are these disorders uh, you know still so prevalent in our society? Why is God not curing them? Uh, and uh, and more importantly, for those who are and for those who are, who you know, who are not cognitive, uh, you know, do not have a higher cognitive enough reasoning capability like you or I, does that automa automatically mean that they're damned simply because, or uh, even the same goes for stillborn infants? Are they automatically damned because of the fact that they have not had a chance to hear Jesus in their life? Let's hear the answer to that. Well, first of all, I'm not an intellect. Like you or I, because we're all individuals and we all have brains to think, and it's not about wisdom or, or no, any. But, or any but if they of that can't stuff. even, if they can't process language, then how can they hear the word of Jesus? Therefore, are they damned? God, God will bring His word to whomever He wills. He will bring the law, which is not there, so we have to follow it. Because of course we all have free will. Of course we're all individual. We can do what we want on this earth. And here's the thing. We God do, brought his, we God do, brought his we law have to, to all those people. You keep pointing out that he brings them. his word to those whom he will, correct? That's right. So it, so it implies, so, so whom he elects, so it implies then that he is intentionally damning other people That's from that. That's right. So that includes basically the people with Down syndrome, etc., who cannot necessarily process the word, may in turn also. Th thanks, for, uh, thanks for having clarified that for me, and uh, uh, thanks for having clarified uh, certain issues for well, me. I'm glad, I'm, I'm sorry. It, I'm glad uh, you no, take it to that step well, no, and just don't even let me answer, but no, just no, fire no, no, at me. I, I, I will let you answer. I will let you answer, but I will say your intellect has given way to complete foolishness, and you're being foolish right now. And I won't listen to any more of it. Okay, well that's that's your right, and we will right, leave well, you alone. You, thanks but very much no, for you, you, you can, you more. can. I would glad to talk, but when you just go from jumping right from that to that, then well, you're not, not you're not it's being not a, reasonable. It's not, but, it's not a jump; it's a right, simple okay. logical step. Mm. Yeah. All right, thank you very much for your time. I'm, I'm very sorry that you uh, that you feel bad about okay. this. We that wasn't our no 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 that that way wasn't our intent to make you feel uncomfortable. I don't feel but, uncomfortable. But but thank you very much. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Any last words? Yeah. Hey. Well, as we're walking along, the, the key point is, though, is that it's a simple logical step. If they cannot process language, they cannot hear the word of God. Therefore, if God is bringing what is, is intentionally damning people, he is therefore intentionally damning those, including those who cannot understand his word. That includes people with autism, etc., or, or people with low-functioning autism, or people with Down syndrome, who cannot necessarily interpret the language that is even being supposedly communicated as the word of God. That's all I have to say for now. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Jesus likes it in the ass.